Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On this segment, I'd like to talk about the Robbie Lawler versus Colby Covington fight. This is going to be a recap video, so let's get started. All right, so first, I want to get this out of the way. I actually did a breakdown for this fight, and I picked Robbie Lawler to win. I didn't think it was going to be an easy fight, but I thought that Lawler had the tools to get the job done. Underestimated Colby, proved me wrong once again, and I have to give the man his props. Whether you like him or hate him, don't like his antics or persona, you cannot deny that the guy's a threat in the division and his skill set is really difficult to deal with. So basically in the fight, Colby won how he was expected to win. Relentless pressure and an insane pace he sets, not to mention the top-notch wrestling. Colby did a great job of overwhelming Robbie with strikes that weren't particularly particularly damaging, but they wore him down and getting Robbie's back against the cage, limiting his movement, which allowed Kobe to secure takedowns better. Lawler did stuff a considerable amount of takedowns. He did get back to his feet, but Kobe pretty much dominated him in the wrestling department. What Robbie could have done was keep his back off the cage a little better, keep it in the center and go for it a little more. Easier said than done. I think he was too concerned with conserving his energy for the later rounds. If you just go for it and don't finish that opponent with amazing stamina and cardio, you'll be dead in the water later on. Cardio is one of the biggest weapons in fighting. Robbie made it to decision, which is pretty commendable. At 37, still fighting the guys at the top of the sport, which is no surprise because the guy's a legend. I don't think Lawler necessarily lost a step. I think he got out cardioed outpaced and outclassed in the wrestling department. Kobe just imposed his will better that night, which he does to many opponents. Like I said, props to Covington again. Love him or hate him, he's a fierce competitor and a threat. Him versus Kamaru Usman is really interesting because in many ways they have a similar fight style and skill set. Both have top-notch wrestling, they're super conditioned athletes with great cardio, and they don't let up until you break. Let's see what happens in this 170 pound division. You got Jorge Masvidal that's in talks for a title shot. Kobe Covington, obviously. Really intriguing dilemma. Who do you give it to? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Truly appreciate the support. Thanks for the likes, the shares, the subs. Channel's growing slowly, really humbled by that. Let me know what you think about the Lawler versus Covington fight. Who do you think deserves the title shot? Until the next segment, guys, take care.